maximum drive. see that star cluster is pretty visible right around that part of the sky and here too straight ahead it looks a little thinner doesn't it as I recall as I recall that where we're sitting in that cluster now we're kind of kind of near an edge there are some open spots there, so maybe this is pretty accurate. That uh, representation of that star cluster. Maybe it's not just a stock image, you know. Maybe it's actually got real stars mapped there. ED Discovery is really quite an impressive uh, work of art. I, my hat is off to its creator. These star clusters, I think that these star clusters, which tend to have a lot of predominantly um, uh, M-class stars, it seems like there are more M-class stars in the star clusters that I've been encountering than um, others. I mean, you know, I've run into the G uh, a G class here or there. I've run into uh, that F class. Yeah. But I think that M class is maybe the more common one in star clusters. That may be because M class stars are a, um, a cooler variant than G-Class, I believe. Let's see, I guess that information would be in here. Uh, F-Class, so surface temperature 64.99, and there's a G right there. G-Class is 5931 and an M class there's one M class is 13 yeah so M's are cooler than G's which are cooler way cooler than F's Sixty-five forty-three. Yeah, and uh, I've you know I've been running into quite a few um, of these lately. In fact, I think I can tell you here. I think there's a summary view under. Oh, oh wait, I do that under scan. Go to scan summary and in the last 24 hours oh, click this and M G two F's that's because the, there were those two F's that we just saw but uh, over the course of a week we've been in this for a while now. Looks like F's and G's, K's and M's have been predominant. They seem to predominate most of the time though. Right. Next system en route. Next star system. Make the jump. And we're going to a class M. It says so in the upper right corner there. Pick 
I said, like I said, Class M, they're plentiful around here. Do the scan. Do the scan. Okay, in a class M, its habitable zone is 0.5, roughly 0.5 to 200 light seconds. System map. System okay, now this down here is going to be probably an L class. Let's see if it does it tell me right now. I think it will. Just gotta get my mouse on it. Yeah, class L. And so they're not uh, they're not scoopable or anything. Close the map. Closing map. And its distance too far to be worth it. Okay, moving on. Twenty five, sir. Next waypoint. The heliosphere on these is, gets quite hot, though. It's a smaller, it's a smaller body to begin with. So the heliosphere, is, the thickness of the heliosphere, isn't as great as on the larger stars, and therefore the temperature gradients are probably sharper as you are moving closer to it. Full speed ahead. Make the jump. Make the jump. Okay, another got another class F coming up here. Now, I don't expect to see any planets around this one. Let's find out if I'm right. Do the scan. One new object. System map. System map. System map. All right, just another star. And that's going to be what uh, class M. No class K. Okay, yellow orange main sequence stars long and generally stable life. So those can occasionally have planets around them, but I think that um, most of that stellar material probably went into the making of this class F, which is why we don't have any of it floating around out there, you know? Close the map. It seems like these, it seems like these brighter stars um, don't, I, I, the reason I didn't think that there were going to be any planets around it, because I haven't been seeing too many whenever I run into these brighter, hotter stars, these larger stars. Next waypoint. Next waypoint. I'm going to turn down the volume on these speakers. I think that that may be confusing voice attack. I think that may be part of the problem. I may have these speakers up too loud.
full speed ahead. Max, max on drive. Why did you just jump a little bit like that? Make the jump. I think we may be getting. I think we may be getting a little bit of this uh, errant mouse behavior here. It's not drifting so much as that was just little jumps. My hand wasn't anywhere near the mouse. Scanning now. Two. Collating. One. Compiling data. Cartography update complete. I'm going to take a little break and I'll be back here in just a few minutes. All right, I'm back. I will do the scan. Scanning, scanning, times. System map. System cartography. Oh, now this is a nice looking system. Look at that. There's, a, I think, an Earth like planet right over there. Well, let's see. What is the star class? That's a that's a B class. Very luminous white stars. All right, so that's possible. Um, let's find out. All right, a B class, yeah. So, um, so thirty-seven hundred up to forty-one thousand light seconds away. And that's too close. That's too close. That's too close. That's too close. That one's getting close to the habitable zone, and that one is like just inside the habitable zone. There, that could be terraformable. And then uh, let's see. That one. That one is definitely within range. And then look at this one down here. What is that? Oh wow, we've got we've got some interesting ones here. Now that's a hundred. Well, you can't tell. I mean, you'd like to know how far it is from this star. But um, what is that? An L? What is that? That's a G. That's a G-class star. These guys might even be water worlds. This is going to be a good system. This is going to be worth scanning. Close the map. Closing map. Closing map. And distances. So we're going to have a little bit of travel here. Unfortunately, but yes, we will. But I think it's all well worth it. Twenty twenty percent engaged. Right. Okay now. Looking at that uh, silhouette, that is going that could be either a high metal content or a rocky world. That one's going to be too close for habitability or uh, terraforming. Over here. It's, uh, okay, it's giving off a lot of uh, ultraviolet light there. Full speed ahead. 
I think it does better when I keep the uh, volume turned down. Well, I think we're going to make up for some of our lost uh, scan data value with this one. I'm going to guess high metal content. Let's see if I'm right. Just because of its proximity. Yep, high metal content. It's close enough that all the heavier materials are usually closer into the star. So that's great. Good. Up to a decent start already. Another high metal content, most likely. Full speed ahead. 100%. Could be a rocky body, but I think it'll be another high metal content. It's about time. I haven't run into any decent systems in a while. The only problem with um, terraformability in a star system like this, with uh, what was the class of that star again? It's a B class. I don't run into those very often. Because I believe that they're pretty unstable. They, I think they're variables of stars. Okay, 50% engaged. I can see here. See its age? Only 184 million years old. It's really a young star. So usually not very stable. System map. System, System map. Let's just get the uh, dope on this one here. Stars are very luminous blue-white stars. They usually range in mass from 2 to 16 solar masses have a surface temperature reaching 30,000 Kelvin. Their lifetimes are shorter than most main sequence stars. Doesn't say anything about variability though. Okay. All right, so that was a high metal content, that last one, as I thought. Full speed ahead. 100%. side. I'm going to go racing by the star. It's always fun. And uh, likely to be another high metal content. System map. System map. System map. All right. Close the map. Closing map. Just eyeballing the color and texture of that. a luminous star. I'm going to slow her down and take another look. Take another look. System map. 
System map. System cartography. I just want to get a better look at these guys. Close the map. Closing the map. Fifty percent speed. I think it's got a, a moon around it there. Get that next. Probably high metal content too. Or a rocky body, one or the other. Rocky body in that time, okay. And we just got our first hit on Jumponium here. Let's make a paste. Full speed ahead. Maximum time. definitely cross the million credit threshold here. With the system. And this is a rocky body or high metal content. Based on the silhouette. Now, 50%. Let's take a look. Um, line up better. Right. Could be high metal content or a rocky body. Yeah. Just, just wanted to verify. Most likely rocky body. The metals, which are heavier than the rock, tend to be closer in. Oh, okay, high metal content, good. That's more valuable. And this one could be a rocky body or high metal content. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. That pattern right here, rocky body or high metal content for System map. System and that one has the coloration of a water world, but uh, let's see. Looks like one of these guys down here, like that one maybe. So possibly terraformable light. I don't believe that that's in the habitable zone. Well, maybe it is, or it, I think it has to be over 3,000. Well, yeah. So that's a little too close. Close the map. A little too close to be habitable or terraformable. So it probably won't be. I hope my um, explanations are making sense here because I'm trying to figure this out and I'm getting a little bit better at it. I'm 
Well, this is based on known science, but uh, what we've been learning is that sometimes uh, there are planets that are habitable even though they're not directly in the Goldilocks zone for other reasons. Um, internal heat, for example, in the planet. Uh, and of course, there's always a possibility of an ice world with life under its surface if it's orbiting a gas giant uh, and gravitational tidal forces can uh, heat the core of the planet and you can have a vast ocean under the ice on an ice world. And so far, they aren't even suggesting uh, that possibility in the game. Of course, they know about it. Everybody knows about it. It's, it's a lot of uh, a lot of documentaries on on the Discovery Channel and. Uh, Cosmos and you know all these different programs plus uh, documentaries that are made about the possibility of uh, under the ice oceans and life possibly existing. Anyway, this will be either a rocky body or high metal content. Probably a rocky body, but we'll see. metal content world yeah, okay full speed ahead one now this one percent. this one you see that blemish there on the left of the uh, silhouette I think that that means that it's a rocky world but let's let's be sure it could be a rocky world or it could be a a uh, Rocky body with high metal content, maybe. Let's uh, look. So we'll find that blemish. It's right here. Okay, so that's a high metal content. High metal content. All right. Full speed ahead. Metal content terraforming candidate. Understood. Let's look in the map. The system map. System, system map. map. Way out there. Well, terraforming candidate. We haven't gotten to this one yet, though, have we? Uh, I. Oh, I'm misreading it. So we have got this one, a little content, and this is a terraforming candidate with a nitrogen atmosphere. And it is um, within the uh, habitable zone, 4,479 light seconds. Yeah. It's definitely within the habitable zone. It's going to be right around here in that range. It's going to be right around the left side of this, just a little above that 3731. Close the map. Closing the map. Oh, that's pretty. Stop engines. All stop. Stop stop thrusters. It's a pretty looking world not landable. It's got an atmosphere on it. It's got a nitrogen atmosphere so you can't land on it. 
Okay, now let's go to this one. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. System map. System cartography. Okay, so let's find out if this is going to be an Earth like world. Close the map. Closing map. It's going to be terraformable for sure. That's going to get us over a million. Systems like this make my day. It would be nice to have my my name all over it. I'm due for another Earth-like world. I've only found two of them on this journey so far. Okay, here it comes. Let's find out. It's probably a terraforming candidate. I don't think it's going to be an Earth-like world, though. But we'll see. Terraforming candidate. Hot carbon dioxide atmosphere. All right, that's not all. There's another one um, down in that other system. Full speed ahead. Maximum maximum. That we're going to be cruising to now. System map. System, system map. map. There's this one down here, and also. This looks kind of like a water world. This one, see we just don't know what their distance is because you got two stars in the system and though all of these are orbiting this, uh, what was it, a G-class? The G-class itself, I don't know how far away it is from its host star. I guess I can find out um, once we get closer. Okay, close the map. Closing map. So we just gotta cruise along here for a little bit. We're already at a million a million credits in scan data down here. So that's good. Trying to match some of those others. I think the best that I ever did. Now let's see. That was let's go back here. bodies in the past month. In fact, all, in all the time that I've been in the game, in two years, I've only discovered two Earth-like bodies. They're rare. Definitely rare.
tell we're pretty far away from uh, from all these other stars. We're just moving away from all of them. But this is a system now that we're coming into. So there's going to be a whole bunch of bodies in there. Got system map. System map. We've got how many there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 bodies we're going to be scanning in here. Close the map. Closing the map. It's getting a little cool in here. I'm going to fix the temperature. I'll be right back. I got a beef stew cooking in the crock pot, so I won't have to fix dinner. I really won't have to. I don't really have to stop until um, oh, until my son gets home and says, "Feed me." It's 3:30 now. I think he's going to be home at about 4:30 today. So. He probably won't want to eat until 6.30 or 7. My boy's a martial artist. He's really good. Um, he trains other martial artists, uh, people with black belts and stuff. Interestingly, he hasn't gone to get his black belt. Engaging now, 50%. No, you can, you can keep going. Maximum velocity engaged. He plans on doing it, but I think what he wants to do is he wants to go, um, uh, you know, like somewhere in Eurasia and uh, train over there. He could probably pass his black belt without any difficulty, though. That boy is amazing. I say boy, but he's a... He's a full-grown man now. He's uh, 25 years old. Old quarter century old. Still lives at home. Got a job. Goes to school. He's just saving his money so he can eventually afford to get out. The world is getting more and more expensive. It's harder and harder for young people to find find a way to make it on their own. So I'm more than happy to provide him with shelter and food for as long as I can. He's a good boy, and I want to give him every opportunity. Of course, I'm on uh, Social Security, but I've got um, roommates that helps pay the bills, so. When I'm out here in the black, I'm out here in the black. Just curious to know um, if there's a way to do an export from this. There's a logger. 
probably uh, there's probably a way to do it. I'm just thinking that at some point I'm going to want to go back and do lookups on the um, on some of these systems, and like if I want to find. Uh, you know, all the systems that had terraformable candidates, for example. Uh, and how many terraformable candidates there are in a given system. That's not something that I can find out directly from Captain's Log. Though, I might also be able to do it from here. I think there probably are ways of doing it. break into those databases in order to extract the data, but probably could do it. Let's see, did the, this is an L, a K class, is that right? Pretty sure that's what system map system cartography system map says it's an OG a G class just like our sun close the map closing map it's a G class okay and we're getting a scan on that now going to be high metal content. I'm pretty sure. Let's just be sure. No. Could be either high metal content or rocky body. High metal content or rocky body. Understood. 50%. So it's hard to tell with these guys because um, we just don't know with two stars, one of them being, uh, what was that, an A class star? Right? A B class, which I, you know, very luminous, yeah, high metal content. Okay. It's hard to tell whether or not any of those could uh, be. Maximum drive. Could be terraformable because of the influence of two stars. Um, Though these guys are definitely all close to that G-class star. But we don't know what their exact distance is from that G-class star from the star uh, from the uh, system map. So I put in a request uh, through the um, Frontier Development Elite Dangerous uh, suggestion forum and uh, I'm sure other people have mentioned it, but there should be a way to judge the distance from their host star, their parent star. Fifty percent. From the star that they orbit.
I guess that would mean their parent, their parent star. So this will be a uh, high metal content as well. Okay. So as I thought, I figured we would cross that million credit threshold just on for the system value alone. And we have, and we still have a lot to, a lot to do. Full speed ahead. 100%. guys are kind of spread out around here. That's why we're just kind of darting hither and yon. Body. body, yeah, that uh, silhouette can be a rocky body or high metal content, it can be either one. Yeah, it is. I can just look up at the uh, full speed ahead. Maximum drive. Just looking up at um, Captain's log up there. It's got uh, 0 0.38 g, which means it's landable. And this one is going to be a, a high metal content. That silhouette. That silhouette is this guy right here, high metal content. System map. System map. Now this one could be also. It's got that uh, look like a terraformable. Close the map. Closing map. Engaging map. Fifty percent. Got too close there. I might overshoot this before I get the data.
Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. System map. System cartography. Now this guy is likely to be a high metal content as well. But I think it's within the Goldilocks zone. Maybe. Let's see. Because we again we just don't know what that distance is. Close the map. Close map. Closing map. Okay, 50% engaged. You get a lot of high metal content planets like we're getting here. The cumulative value can jump up, you know, incrementally, but it can do it. Um, there's another high metal content. Full speed ahead. 100%. System map. System map. Now, considering that all of these are landable, they're probably not terraformables because they don't have atmosphere. This guy and this guy, however, and this one and this one and that one and that one and that one, they could be, just depending on whether or not they fall into the Goldilocks zone or not. Yes, yes, sir. 25 This one um, is high metal content or rocky world. Content. All right, now this is a water world. I think that's what that represents. So um, that silhouette. I think that's. Metal rich or water world. This is a water world because I don't think it's got the, those blemishes there. I think I remember seeing that though. No, it's got those blemishes, so it's going to be a metal rich body. They, they look very similar though. 50%. the way those shadows move. There's supposed to be nice improvements to the lighting as well um, in this, in one of these uh, 2018 updates that are coming out. Okay, that is a metal rich Metal Rich World, MR. Yes, yes, sir. 25%. MR, Metal Rich Body. Yeah. No atmosphere at all. That would be landable. That would be a great place to go for minerals. Okay. Rubidium, molybdenum, cadmium, zirconium. I 
my metal content or rocky body my metal content Content or rocky body coming up here. Understood. System map. System cartography. We still haven't gone to this guy. Oh, did we? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking these guys. I haven't gone to these. These. None of those. Oh, got that one. Got that one. Didn't get that one. So this one and uh, this one and that one. Close the map. Fifty percent speed. So there's still the possibility. Twenty five cents. Gotta keep going back to these images. Outdoor earth like worlds. Water worlds. They look very similar in this. This one. Just as always scan them when you see it when they look like that. But there's water worlds there and rocky bodies. Could also be like one of those. Close the map. Oh. Close the map. <laughs> Already got that data. Alright, let's jump over to this guy now. Full speed ahead. Maximum size. This is going to be a high metal content or rocky world. System map. System, System map. map. Close the map. Closing the map. map. Estimated system value up top there on the right in yellow, 1,273,697. That's going to bump up our average here. Right down there. Fifty percent. Might be another high metal content. Yeah, they do add up. Twenty five percent. Probably another high metal content. Yeah. This would be a good place to come and gather minerals. Really good place for us. Full speed ahead. One hundred percent. This one is going to be a high metal content, I'm pretty sure. I should have that down by now. There's just too many to remember. Um, right there, high metal content.
Okay, 50% engaged. Another high level content world. System map. System, System content. Okay, so that one that could be a water world. Close the map. Closing the map. Okay, high metal content. Not a water world. Full speed ahead. Maximum Max velocity is engaged. System map. System, System map. map. Close the map. Closing the map. map. That looks like a rocky body to me. Okay, fifty percent engaged. be a high metal content or a rocky body, but I think it's going to be a rocky body. Nope. Oh, look at that. Terraforming candidate and a high metal content. Yeah, now we're getting close to the two million mark. See, these guys are not system map. System map. System system See, now none of these guys that are left are landable. So they all have that terraforming candidate possibility, especially considering the fact that some of the others out here are already, like that one that we just saw, was terraformable. In fact, look at that, that's just a rocky body and a terraforming candidate. Let's see. Rocky bodies, you know, terraforming candidates. Yeah. All right. What do we have left? Looks like there's three left. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Maximum Now that one is a, a metal rich body, is that right? No, a high metal content. Right there. So it might also be terraformable. Unless we're moving beyond its uh, Goldilocks zone, which we don't know exactly where that is.
Candidate Terraforming Candidate Terraforming Three Okay, two more there very near each other. Icy body. Full speed ahead. 100%. Yeah, these are the, uh, the gas giants out there at the edge, I think. System map. System, System map. map. Yeah, those are the two ringed gas giants. And um, we're going to go by the silhouette next. Let's take a look here. Close the map. Close the map. So, oh. I don't know. Why'd you do that? This is a, this is going to be a, just a, this is a, an icy world. Apparently a ringed icy world. I know that silhouette, that's an icy world. We saw rings on it in the map. Um, not landable though. Back to this group of images here. I don't really show it here. Fifty percent. world although it does have some rings on it a ring an icy ring let's take a close yes, look yes, at this one. let's take a closer look at this one just because it looks interesting you can't land on it because it has a hot, thick, methane-rich atmosphere, but yet it's an ice planet with a hot atmosphere. I just want to kind of get close in and get kind of a good look at this baby. Twenty percent. Twenty percent.
we had one more in here. I guess so. Oh, there it is over there. It's already selected. Okay, we're done with this system. We made over two million credits on this system alone. Which brings our grand total up to two million three hundred and eighteen thousand four hundred and forty six credits in seven jumps. That's pretty good. With sixty one scans. I compare that to this day here less than half in 149 jumps and 140, 149 scans and 21 jumps and I've only traveled 225,000 light years or 225 light years okay Let's see it's four o'clock I'm feeling a little wary Maybe I'll stop now. Next system. Select the next destination. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. 